word against the message sent to bring them joy and hope and life. We look upon the Jews as inexcusable because they rejected the crucified Christ. But today, the messages that the Lord sends are often received in a manner similar to the way in which the Jews received Christ's message. Yeah. We're not any better, brothers and sisters. Yeah. If the instruction of the Lord does not harmonize with the opinions of men, anger takes control of reason. And men play into the enemy's hands by opposing the message that God sends. Satan uses them as sharp instruments to oppose the progress of truth. I'm thinking of Tarsia's thing that she's going to and all the turmoil that's pulling around that. Why? Why? Because God's in it, that's why. Yeah. And it's real. Amen. If you're not being attacked, brothers and sisters, in this world, you're not living right. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. If everything's good, then something's really wrong. Yeah. <clears throat> Let us turn to Matthew 24. I'm sorry for. Hey, you sound like me. Oh, I just. I don't know. Good, right? Second Corinthians 12, 9. He said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Amen. Amen. Well, if that's the case, then I'm going to glory in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I will boast in my infirmities that the power go. of Christ may rest upon me. Amen. 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 Matthew 24 and verse 14. It says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached unto all the world for a witness or a testimony, whatever your Bible says, unto all nations. And then, the, then shall the end come. So what is this? This isn't just us talking, right? This is us living the gospel. This, this testimony, this witness is, is visual. You follow me? It's something people can see. It's tangible. It's not just speak. Amen. It's like Jesus, when he was here, he walked the walk. He talked the talk. Everybody wondering why Jesus hasn't come yet? It's because we're not being this testimony, this witness. Amen. Because we're not allowing God something in our lives. Everybody here, we're holding something back. And I don't know what it is for you. But I'm getting real close to knowing what it is for me. Amen. And I want it gone forever. So that we can go home. This, this place is a bad dream. Amen. If you're happy here, something's wrong. Okay? There's nothing here. Brand new car rusts. People die. They get hurt. This place is horrible. What is there here? This place is a bad dream. Let us get that solidified in our brains that this place is no good. And stop lying to ourselves and just being fat and happy, getting comfortable with this place. Then we can get serious about God and get serious about going home. And I'm not just preaching to you guys. Trust me, I'm hearing every bit of this. I need to hear it. I'm sure that God has some uncomfortable things to say to all of us. Mm -hmm. But we need to hear them. We need to say thank you and be in full agreement with God. And stop lying to ourselves. 
and saying everything's all right when it ain't.
And he said unto me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the waters of life freely. Amen. 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 Our closing song.